In the last video we covered placing objects, so let's now bring those together to complete the scene. We have placed a water plane for our lake surface, which can be done from the landscape tab. We switch on our nature layers and our hero grass. It's starting to come together, but our imported model is looking a little bit plain, right? This is where materials come to the rescue. So let's jump over to the material editor. Lumion will group your imported surfaces by the material names that import. This can be handy if using naming conventions, but you should also be careful to give different names to surfaces that need to differ. Single clicking on a surface will open the material library and double clicking will open the material settings. To assign a Lumion library material, we just choose the surface, like our exterior wall here. Let's get a nice wood plank material. There, it's better already. Lumion uses a full PBR material workflow, meaning that by assigning texture maps to the correct slots, we can get physically accurate and realistic surfaces. The materials include a myriad of customization options. But, and that's not enough, you can always bring in your own. Let's try assigning a custom concrete to this surface. As we are already in the settings tab, we can choose the load texture map. For the normal map, we can choose to generate one. But as this material does have one, let's load that too. It will add bump and detail to the surface without increasing polygon count. This is great for performance. Let's complete it with a roughness map. We can now save this material to our custom library and reuse it at will in our other projects. Also, it's possible to save the entire project material set. Handy for backup, or if you use the same naming conventions in all your projects. Likewise, loading a material set to our model is easy. Let's try that now. You can see how it's all starting to come together. We are on the home stretch now. Stick around for rendering.